Ella Dove and this is What the Wellness. Today I'm trying out a truly unique workout experience here in New York City called Burn. So in most fitness classes they actually turn up the heat. It's really common in yoga or Pilates to amp up the temperature so you can really sweat it out. But here at Burn I'm going to do the exact opposite. It's a cool temperature workout meaning the temperature inside the fitness studio will be only 50 degrees. So I have to work up a sweat all on my own. To be honest I'm a little bit skeptical but I know it's backed by some serious scientific research, so let's go give it a try. Bird. What does a cool temperature really do for your body when you're working out? You know, the way that we position it is that you move better and that helps you to optimize performance. I mean, there are there is research out there that talks about cool temperature exposure helping with burning more calories and acclimating to um, to colder environments when they do come. But the biggest thing about us is that, like, you know, we want you to, to move and to work at your best. And when heat doesn't get in the way, um, you sort of have like a superhero cape on your back. You're taking the slide class today. So it's a 50 minute class in 50 degrees, uh, but we'll be working on the slide board. So it would be a lot of lateral movement, low impact movement. Cool. Um, you're going to be feeling like a speed skater for 50 minutes, huh. so like. be trained for the Winter Olympics. Yeah. Um, and you know, you're going to be very surprised how this temperature is going to encourage you to move better. And, and when you do sweat, you're gonna, your mind's going to be blown because you're like, how am I sweating in 50 degrees? Yeah. But you will be. I know there's a funny story about how you came up with the concept of burn. Can yeah. So story? yeah. So so my co-founder Johnny Adamick and myself, we did our first trial in a beer fridge in Brooklyn at Six Point Breweries Beer Fridge because that's what you do when you're testing out a new concept. Kind of is like a fridge door. Well, what you should expect in here is to just go in and to know that by moving your body is going to be warming up and you're going to be sweating. There were a few minutes in the beginning where I was like, I'm definitely not gonna work up a sweat. Like, I'm not working hard enough. I think as I started to warm up and all the blood rushed to my heart, it made my hands freezing. So I was like, cool, jacket's staying on, this is fine. And then we started to go back and forth on the sliders and up and down with our bodies. And I got really hot and I took off my sweatshirt and proceeded to sweat for the rest of the session. So the sliders. I knew I was getting on a slider, I knew I was getting put on booty, so I was on my booty, but I did not think about the coordination it would take to slide back and forth across the thing and not fall off. I'm pretty sure I almost fell off like six times. And there was a lot of stretching, and when we moved it back and forth across the sliders, I really felt like I was elongating, and that in combination with the cooler temperature just felt amazing. So I really feel like I got an awesome workout. And I was hot by the end, and now I'm in infrared sauna, and I am very hot. So I think the cool workout to this hot sauna, hopefully I'm like activating all these different things inside my body and I'm gonna leave here feeling fresh and rejuvenated and strong and like I need to chug a lot of water. So I just did burn and now I'm doing burn. <laughs> Subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel today to see all the weird wellness experiences I've tried and find out what I think's weird and what's actually worth it.